group to the game, but a veteran in sex, I took your girlfriend, make your boyfriend become an ex, then what about the next thing I seen the first fuck you, to the niggas, I put them in the hearse, yeah, nobody gets saved by the bell, so I'ma just kill them, and place them in hell, and they gon' have to place me in the cell, and throw away the key, either way I'm throwing Amistad to AJ and get free, it's gonna take a whole lot just to beat me, I'm HD, don't take a lot just to see me, ladies know I'm pimping, they know my plans, they tattoo my name on their ass and shit on their man, yeah, fuck with me, I'm coming after you, like the letter V, you be RS, running scared before the letter T, I'll leave you dead like the letter D, bullets, that's the letter B, catch a slug for my gun, that's the letter G. That's the test of one, two, three, reporting live from the ALU tent. We in front of JFK Staten Island reporting live. Reporting live from the JFK Staten Island warehouse facility. Prime Week update. Amazon didn't sell shit this year. Thanks to the efforts of all the workers and all the criticism, all the controversy that they received. We put a dent in their sales. Their sales are plummeting. Stocks are going down. People are losing their fucking mind. <laughs> No, on a serious note, but uh, this year, Prime Day wasn't a success as we thought it would be. Um, they called MET, then they VTO'd at the same time, made no fucking sense. So we know that we're causing some damage. The boycotts are working. The news controversy is working. The headlines are working. The unionizing efforts are working. We just got to keep our foot on the gas, and we'll take this company down. So is it working? Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that earlier. Holy smoke. Yeah, this shit about to get crazy out here, man. Staten Island's fucking weather is fucking ridiculous. That's what I would like to report. That every day we come out here thinking that it's going to be a good day, and then it turns into a tsunami. Something is wrong here. Something's in the atmosphere. <laughs> they control the weather too, right? They probably sending uh, shits up. Would they shoot up in the air chemicals? Putting chemicals in the air to make it rain, form rain clouds. They're doing it on purpose. This is on purpose. So reported live from the AOU tent outside of JFK Staten Island. Been sitting out here for a little bit over two months now. And Amazon doesn't know how to handle our organizing efforts. They are trying to bust us up with sending union busters inside the building they are putting signs in the bathroom sending out emails texts trying to discourage the workers making it seem like we're a third party trying to take their money take hundreds of dollars of union dues it's just not true every day is something different out here you know you never know what you might walk into you know people come up have conversations with us for the most part, it's always about something that they're going through, a, a complaint, a grievance, something that happened to them with their manager. You know, there's some stories, managers getting on, you know, people for not making their productivity. But in return, the workers have learned how to, what they say in their own terms, mind fuck their managers, where they uh, pretty much play stupid, hit them with the, the head nod saying yes or no and acknowledge that what they're doing and then they go back to doing it the way they want to do it. And that's the, that's how you play the game at Amazon. You don't kill yourself, you know. They want you to work harder, work faster, work you know better than uh, their competitors to make their numbers better. But the only way you can get through these days is doing what works for you. And I can tell you that personally. I didn't care how much workload they tried to give me. I did what I know I could do and get done within my 10, 11 hour shift. And that was it. And when I clocked out, I clocked the fuck out. And I think a lot of these workers have that same mentality. Probably the reason why a lot of them don't want to sign is because they don't see themselves being here long, but then they end up being here three years later. So in the meantime, in between time, you might as well sign. If not for yourself, sign for the next person. That's all I said. Think of the bigger picture. Amazon hires and fires. We got to stop it. So, yeah, today was good. I mean, we had 
four signatures, and it was no question. They didn't even uh, ask too many questions about it. They know that job security is one of the biggest things, and that's all I mentioned to them was job security, and it worked. We got snacks, got chips, water, donuts. We got it all. So come see us. Come holler at us. Get down. Get down with the get down because it's going to happen. One way or another, it's going to happen. We just got to expedite it. Yeah, so support um, one of our comrades who's a part of the committee. Her name is Natalie. She is a worker for Amazon, been living out of a car for the last three years. And right now, uh, we are we have set up a GoFundMe to help her get housing this summer. Hopefully, within the next couple of weeks, she'll have enough to at least put down a deposit on an apartment somewhere convenient. So, support, you know, donate to her GoFundMe. We have it up on our Twitter handles. Definitely find it on mine's. Uh, hers as well, and the AOUs. So please, donate, donate, donate. Let's find this worker some housing. She shouldn't be living out of her car, working for the richest man in the world. Makes no sense, right? But she's not the only one, so that's another thing. It's a bigger picture. There's a lot more of them that haven't came forward yet, but we're hoping that she'll be the catalyst for that. Uh, not just here in Staten Island, but probably all across the country. And we're hoping... Uh, that we are use this as one of our stories of how the AOU helps workers, help people. Um, the union definitely does, and that's what we want to represent. Everything that I deserve, shout out to the good life. They compliment my hood life. These girls be calling my phone up and trying to see what it looks like. And I ain't got the time to send them a text. This one time section is on to the next. All my money, power, and respect. I'm putting my foot on these rappers' back. It's a small world, you already know. Gang, gang. <laughs>